<laughs> so it's uh, Thursday, August 18th. Had to bring it outside because I can't work up on the roof inside of the garage. Unfortunately, this truck is a lot taller than what I've been working on. Putting the drip edge together. Uh, and I'm going to be working on the uh, framing on the inside, putting the structural portion of it back together. But I wanted to get the uh, gutter drain uh, gutters in place there. So I got both sides welded and I just tacked it up about a half inch up on the roof. You can see that there's a different size. The roof blue portion is shorter than the uh, and what's happening is uh, the uh, van was a little taller in the front than they were in the back but what I plan on doing is I'm going to build if you've seen on the older Chevrolet trucks the roof kind of comes out past the window so I'm going to get a sheet of steel and come off of here, out, and then come back, sort of like a point. And that'll, I hope, give it a little uh, character, tie it together with the bed. Oh, let me get down and get the ladder set up so I can get in out the back. Not used to working on trucks this tall. This thing's a giant. <laughs> Way up there, this big one-ton chassis. So I've been working on the... Uh, uh, trying to get my um, ash pan back in shape. If you can see, I have it here in the press. I put some wood, I press the corners down. But when I let the pressure off, it seems it's like a taco chip pops back the other way so you can see it's still moving back so I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to get it bent and then I'm gonna take the torch and heat it through the center I want to put a whole lot of I wish I could just jack it down and uh, you know get it to bend straightened out but it's being a pain in my behind like everything else all right, guys. Just a quickie. Been uh, out in the sun. I'm getting a little sunburn on the back of my neck. That's why I decided to come inside the garage. Talk to you later.